Concord is indeed, as my father proclaimed more than half a century ago, the friendly college on the campus beautiful. A hearty institution born of adversity and tested over 125 years of growth as a learning community for the young men and women of the mountains of West Virginia. The commitment of the leaders of West Virginia to education has been strong since the beginning and picked up momentum in the early 1870s from a nationwide movement to expand education to be within the reach of more people. Teachers needed to be trained for local schools and people in various sections of the state clamored for higher education schools to carry out this important duty of teacher preparation. The political debate concerning which town should receive these new schools was intensified by the impending vote on a new state constitution in 1872, which contained the following provision. No appropriation shall hereafter be made to any state normal school or branch thereof, except to those already established and in operation or now chartered. Out of this background, Major William Reynolds approached the legislature with a petition from the people stating, Be it resolved that a branch of the state normal school be established at Concord in the county of Mercer, dated this 28th day of February in the year 1872. William Harvey Martin and his wife Martha donated six acres of land where Athens School now stands. And the townspeople started pledging money. To secure a site and raise sufficient funds with which to erect a building for a normal school was a considerable undertaking for the little village of Concord. This plucky little village went to work with a determination which always brings success and secured by subscription $1,700. Arthur S. Thorne. On February 22, 1874, the cornerstone for the school building was laid with full Masonic honors. <laughs> 